The overall goal of this methodology is to incorporate non-canonical amino acids into ribosomally synthesized antimicrobial peptides. New denature peptides are produced, checked for the presence of the NCAA, and tested for antimicrobial activity using agar-diffusion assays. This method can help to answer some key questions in the field of antimicrobials or bacteriocins, such as the role of certain peptide positions in the mode of action or in resistance development. Following the same principles, a variety of RIPs, such as lesopeptides or lichinicidine, can be produced and activity can be tested against pathogens such as MRSA. Peptides new to nature can be produced for the development of antimicrobial agents to fight pathogens and to overcome the deficiencies of antimicrobial drugs. The main advantage of this technique is that a variety of non-canonical amino acids can be tested in parallel without requiring changes on the genetic level. Consequently, it is relatively easy to produce several modified peptides in parallel. To begin this procedure, prepare 25 milliliters of LB medium containing antibiotics and 1% glucose in a 100 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Inoculate it using a colony of freshly transformed bacterial cells or cells from a frozen cell stock. Incubate the cells overnight at 37 degrees Celsius and 200 RPM. The next day, add 10 milliliters of overnight culture to 1 liter of sterile fresh medium. Mix and split the culture into two 500 milliliter cultures, each in a 2 liter Erlenmeyer flask, and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius and 200.